Number three, floating and buoyancy. You probably already know Archimedes' principle, that is, the weight of the displaced fluid is equal to the force of buoyancy, but this too is a consequence of pressure increasing with depth. That is, the deeper we go underwater, the greater the pressure increases. So the force on the bottom is greater than the force on the top, and these left and right arrows cancel out. The net result is that the pressure difference between the top and the bottom, rho g delta h, algebraically becomes equal to the net fluid force on the object. This is the buoyant force. Now, floating objects, of course, have a buoyant force that's equal to the weight of the object. So the buoyant force is indeed completely lifting the object. Here we see pine floats about halfway, while styrofoam floats about 90% above the surface. Ice, ice famously floats about 90% below the surface, but it depends on whether the water is salt or fresh. Anyways, we can tell the density of an object based on how it floats. As a lab, consider this styrofoam boat, which will sink more as I add passengers into it. It will continue to sink until the density increases to be the same as the density of the fluid that it is in, in this case water. And once the boat has the same density as water, it finally will sink.